Yeah, I think I think that's what I'll do. I think that's the best way to make everyone happy. We'll do a 100% hard mode playthrough of Crisis Core, but in the future. After we've done some of the other stuff that we want to do, we'll come back to it and Activating do it. Activating combat mode. Uh, these things are kind of scary. Ow! That's why they're scary. Yep. Uh, I'll go ahead and just do this. I don't necessarily want to switch my stuff every single time, but... I have so much vitality and these guys just use magic that would be kind of silly not to change it. Well, I mean, that fight in particular definitely would have been easy if I could break damage limit and I took like 8 damage from his attacks instead of it auto-killing me. Which I guarantee if I had two more slots and I put two more betas in those two slots, I would have taken like 2,000 damage from that attack instead of 15,000. And then I wouldn't have had to dodge every single attack and it wouldn't have been as exciting. That's the point I'm making. I like how this still does max damage even though these guys are lightning based. Well, I'm sure there is, but I was talking about that fight in particular. I'm not talking about every fight in the whole game, I'm talking about that fight in particular. See ya, Nock. Have a good weekend, dude. Do I have an Adaman Bangle? I want to say I do, but... Oh god, not the bees! Okay, this is... this is a problem already. Yes, please, give me Odin or something. Get rid of these bees. Alright, I'll take effort. I'm gonna skip this animation, because it's really long and we've seen it like a thousand times. Wait, are those things called Smurgs? Dude, that's awesome. That's an enemy from frickin' Final Fantasy X. That I have a video of that has way too many views. <laughs> There's literally a video of me just singing a, a song about Smurgs, and it has, like, way too many views. I don't know why anyone watches that video, but... It's there, and it's, and it's special. It's very important. It's a very important video. Activating combat mode. Out of the way. I got a Zeo nut. What? I, I could be raising some chocobos. Desert Rose you give to the Calm Traveler and it gives you a golden chocobo. Adds fire, ice, and lightning attacks elements. That's cool. And what the heck is the Zeo nut? Oh, AP plus ten percent. That's lame. Wow, the boss is bees. Freaking bee boss. Activating 
Not the bees. Oh, I win. I got Eris, I win. Good luck. Thanks. Yeah, I looked at the bottom of the list and I didn't see the Adaman bangle, so I thought I already had one. Because normally if it appears at the bottom of the list, it means that it's new. Oh, yeah. But it didn't, so I think I already had one. But I'll check again. I got energy! You know, that completely broken attack. The problem is, it only hits one enemy, though. And Flare hits everybody for, like, max damage, so... I don't know if energy is really going to be worth it until I can break damage limit. So let's check it out. Um, Adam man Sets HP limit at 99,999. Holy crap a moly. Wait a second. Why did that not show up in my list? Did I just happen to like use the last of an item somewhere? Yeah. It showed up up here because I like had an empty spot for some reason. Okay. Well that's something. can't quite get to 99,999 yet, even with my giant HP up. But if I got another accessory slot, I could. As soon as I get stuck on a mission, I'm going to go figure out how to get more slots. But I'm not going to do it until I get stuck on a mission, because that's the way I play. Also, I just realized I might as well equip this, it's not doing anything yet. Oh, it like bounces around. That's interesting. It doesn't do a ton of damage though. Oh yeah. Conflict resolved. How much MP does it take? Activating combat mode. Not that much. I kinda like this. It doesn't do as much damage as Flare. But it takes less oh, yeah. MP Conflict and it's instant. Resolved. So I can just kind of spam it. Activate oh my god, the lag. Why does just certain missions lag? I'll never understand. Okay, that was scary. You know, the lag is kind of helping because I can dodge stuff better. Oh my god, you screw again. Please die. I don't know. Wait! If I modulate, I'm immune! Gonna, it's gonna do me a favor. Nice. What? We're not gonna talk about that. 
It's supposed to make you immune. I don't know why it didn't. Sometimes. Yeah, I don't know. Flare might honestly be better for now. Energy's not doing enough damage. But I mean, I got Thundaga to do damage too, so. I can just use energy on whatever Dundaga doesn't work on. But I was about to use a special attack. I hit, uh, Angeals. Ah, uh, stop. Don't you buzz me. I don't know what 1 million volts is, but it sounds terrifying and I don't want to get hit by it. You gotta be kidding me. What the heck? That enemy did a thousand damage before. So I was like, okay, I'm safe. And then he does a double 4,000. I demand a recount. Activating combat mode. Wow, we did just completely miss. What the heck? That thing wasn't even moving. I'm a pro at dodging flare now. Am I dead? Conflict resolved. Okay, that time it just didn't hit me. Whatever, man. This game makes up its own rules. Rope in the foreground. Get out of here. Ow! Stop it. One of these things is not like the other. which way is the boss and which way is secrets. They're both about the same length. This is secrets, looks like. Nope, this is the boss. 100,000 gil? Okay. <laughs> they put some interesting stuff in these chests, I tell you what. I'm gonna go back and make sure there's no chest back here, because that one had a hundred thousand gill in it. This one's probably got friggin' Sephiroth's sword in it. Ow! Oh, good god, what just happened? Okay. I don't even know what hit me. I don't even know what killed me. I just saw a flash of light and then I died. I think someone cast Flare. <laughs> That's enough for two watermelons, dude. Activating combat mode. 
away from me, creepy bug. Probably dead. I guess you have to be standing close to take damage from that. So as long as you're like far away, you're fine. There you go. <laughs> that would probably be a good notification. 100,000 gil! See, I'm starting to feel like I should put Flare back on because sometimes the enemies are so spread out I can't hit them. See, this is what normally happens. Normally you guard. I got it! This is a really long detour. There better be some juicy stuff back here. Death jump. That's a start. I like the sound of that. It's like me, but I'm jumping. Uh, this is an awkward fight. God, they stole all my MP. Stop. Do I have a favorite soldier? Like, favorite person that's in soldier? Probably Zack, because he's like the only one that we care about. I guess Sephiroth is in soldier, so Sephiroth, I guess. Soldier. All right, here comes the big one. Oh, yeah. All right, give me some juicy chests. Snow armlet. Yeah. Stop it! I'm trying to pick up goods. Okay, that did a lot more damage than I thought. I'm trying, I'm trying! Is this the end? I'm trying, I'm trying! I need like a real crisp uh, audio of that. That would make a good sound effect. I could put it on my stream deck. Just be like, I'm trying, I'm trying! What's up, Napaz? Thank you for the host. How is uh, Resident Evil 2? I saw you were playing it. Death Twister. Alright, they just put all the death stuff back here. I got Death Jump, Death Twister. The last chest is going to have just like death in it. I'm trying, I'm trying! Never mind. I'm a Tonberry, I'm a Tonberry!
it's good, though it has plenty of changes I don't agree with. Hmm. Remakes are always weird. Cause, well, remasters, I guess. Are always kind of weird, because... There's al it's always a big split in the community. Some people want the same as that game, but, you know, looking nicer. And maybe some quality of life stuff, but other than that, like, same as that game. And then there's other people that... Gold hairpin, what does that do? Then there's other people that want a new experience because they like Resident Evil 2, but they could always go back and play Resident Evil 2 if they wanted to. So they want something, you know, completely different. So... I don't know, it, it just kind of depends on what side you're on, I guess. People are always going to complain either way, though. Where... I must already have one. But I can't find it in the list. There it is. Sets MP limit to 9,999. Well, I'm glad I came this way. Yeah, I definitely need to check all these all these areas for all their chests because I'm getting stuff that's completely unique that I'm guessing is only here. Oh, that's alright. I gotta go back. Backwards anyways. I'm not really sure why you would need your MP to be past 999 in this game. I mean, I guess if you wanted to be able to just spam forever, but you can always just throw another. It takes like two seconds. Alright. Uh, that was fun. But yeah, like, I don't know. And I, I don't know what side I'm really on either when it comes to remakes. You know, with the Final Fantasy VII Remake, I didn't really mind them doing something different. I more of just minded their headset going, their, their mindset going into it. Like, I was totally okay with them making it an action RPG. I mean, I wouldn't say totally okay, but like, whatever. If they want to do something new, that's fine. The issue for me was that they said it was going to be better than the original, and that turn-based games were out of date, even though they aren't. Like, their way of going about it was like, yeah, screw turn-based RPGs, we're going to make an action RPG, because that's what everyone wants, right? And it obviously wasn't. So it's just, they were very disconnected with their fan base, And that's what bothered me. If they came out and said, like, we're going to make a Final Fantasy VII remake, but it's going to be something different, then I'd be like, okay, cool, at least we get something. But that's not at all how they went about it. Instead, they made a trailer at E3 that was like, the Forbidden Promise will be... Cons will be finally done and all our fans will be so happy and then they just like do nothing that the fans ask for which is pretty silly now the Resident Evil 2 remake it seems like from the beginning they were kind of giving us the impression that it was going to be different but similar so I don't think it's too bad that they made changes but then it then it comes down to like what are the changes and are they actually good changes because if you're just changing things to change things then you're dumb but if you change things to make things better or more modern then you know that's different and, and again you know that's another thing about the, the Final Fantasy 7 remake it's like there's no need to make it an action RPG there was no reason behind it. 
action RPGs do not sell better than turn-based RPGs. They just don't. That's just the fact of everything. There have been multiple turn-based RPGs that have come out in the past couple years that have sold incredibly well. Dang it. So... There was no need to change it, they just decided they wanted to. This way, and I shouldn't be. Yeah, what the heck? I swear I'm taking way more damage now than I was before, and I'm not really sure why. Don't attack the bird, attack the stinking bomb. Still have Carbon Bengal and Shinra. That's what I've been using since the beginning of this. Activating combat mode. Bring it, on. it would probably help to put on some spirit though, because most of these things are magic attacking me. Ow. But I don't know what the boss is yet. I'm already almost out of ethers again. Good thing I just opened a uh, box with a hundred thousand gil. Activating combat mode. Stop stealing my gil. Or my MP, I mean. See ya, broski. Uh, I don't stream on Saturdays, so I'll see you on Monday, if you come on Monday. But you have yourself a great weekend. Unless, of course, I do a bonus stream, but this weekend, I might be able to do a night stream one night. But, uh... Yeah, not sure. Nah, probably not. Because I have I have to work on the uh, the secrets that you guys don't know about yet. But we'll soon know about. And I'm I'm trying not to hype it up too much, but you're gonna be very happy with the uh, the two secrets I have for you. Alright, we made it to the boss. Activating combat mode. It's a bunch of bees, of course. I try to aim this so I can hit everything. Flex those muscles, Zach! <laughs> Sorry, Retro. You can always watch one of the uh, the VODs Prove of any of the streams you me. missed. I got it. Well, I'm sure you wouldn't tell anyone else. I have full faith in you. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I wasn't taking any chances with those bees. 
Alright, so I've gotten an equipment that breaks my HP limit and equipment that breaks my MP limit. So I'm very curious to see if one of these missions has break damage limit in it. Or if that's somewhere completely different. But I'm going to be searching high and low to try to find if there is one. I I have a feeling though that in this one we'll probably get one that has AP break limit. Since we already got HP and MP it would make sense that the next one would be AP. Unless AP just doesn't exist, but it probably does. This has a whole back road. It's probably back here. I'm starting to learn how these game programmers did things. Maybe. Activating combat mode. More bombs and bees. My favorite. Fire Raja! No thank you. Ow. Yeah, that hurt. No, oh, stop stealing my MP. Ow! Alright, well I guess that they're gonna spam me with bombs every time I'm just gonna quit. Fire protection. It's crazy how important the chests are to pick up in this game, like on the missions. People were saying it earlier, but I didn't realize how important they really are. They were like, oh, you should try, probably try to pick up all the chests you find, and I was like, okay. What I didn't realize is, like, you need to pick up every goddamn chest ever if you ever want to see your family again. I mean, if you ever want to get stuff that matters. I am just going to stand here for a while and wiggle. So... Modulating phase. And modulating phase, of course. I love when the game just kicks you while you're down. Every time, man. Every freaking time. Just sit there and get absolutely trashed for like 10 seconds. Then the second I die, it goes off. If it would have gone off any time before that, it would have helped immensely. Instead, it waits until I die. Modulating phase. Power surge. Here comes the big one. Uh, we just talked about it, Napaz. We're not going to do 100%, but I am going to do all the missions that like are interesting. And then one day, we're going to come back and do hard mode 100%. For anyone that wants to see 100%. But I just see no, no reason to do 100% on this file. So. What? Dude, the battle music didn't even stop. Do you realize that? The battle music did not even stop. It literally just rolled into the next fight. Wait, is this an empty room? No. Activating combat I guarantee AP break damage limit, or AP break limit is in that chest. I'm telling you right now. Also, I need... I had to kill that plant. That plant is what killed me. Stunned me last time. AP damage, AP limit break. No, hero drink. What? Never mind, my whole life is a lie. Oh, 
No, oh, I got stunned again. At least I'll just sit here and get healed. Thank you. Never mind. God dang it, dude. These freaking plants. Alright, we're gonna do this. We're gonna equip something that has stun on it. I don't know what has stun, but something has to, right? Do I have like a stun blade or something? No? Is there nothing that has stun on it that I can equip? You gotta be kidding me, this is like the one thing that doesn't exist. Oh wait, Iron Fist is not an equipment, it's a materia. What do you do, like punch crap? About to try it. Sounds funny. <sighs> okay. Well, I'm just gonna equip Flare then. And Health on Daga just because it has magic plus 22 on it. Equip the carbon bangle. Give myself stun protection. Does Iron Fist do? Do I start playing Tekken when I use this? Wait, I already got everything back there. I can just go forward. <laughs> All of a sudden, like the screen breaks and we're playing Tekken. Activating combat mode. Yeah. Iron Fist. That sucks. That is incredibly weak. Why did I equip this? I. I mean, it's not that weak. It's doing more damage than my regular attack, but it's still not very good. <laughs> Death jump sounds so much better somehow. So should I... I don't know, should I try, like, Death Twister? I mean, I feel like Flare... would be better... So I'm gonna get into a lot of fights that think it's just not gonna work, but... Not working. It's 
not working. Yep, that didn't go well. Give me flare back, please. In before the entirety of YouTube told me to use Death Twister, like the episode before this. That's what always happens. People tell me to use stuff and then it sucks. See you, pet friend. Well, I, it seems like Hell Thundaga barely has its ailments ever go off. I've only seen it stop something like once. And it has like four ailments attached to it, and it never does any of them. So I feel like it's just a, a bad chance. And Assault Twister might also just be a bad chance, but in that case it's much better for me to just use Flare. Because Flare will always kill things. Yeah, I mean, it, I'm sure it works better in other... But again, Flare would work just as well in those other missions, so... The power of soldier. Alright, here comes the big one! That's a behemoth. That's a scary boy. The question is though, are you hiding something behind you? Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Absolutely not. Kill those things immediately. Ow, I actually got poisoned because I took off my... What is this? No, you gotta be kidding me, are you? Why why do they get to like physical attack as they're growing? Stupid. check to see if he's hiding goods. Oh, I bet he's hiding some goods back here. Huh? No hidden goods? is going to go one of two ways. Ow! Yeah, that's, that's kind of how I expected it to start. Okay, he's using Ultima. That doesn't sound good. Yeah, that wasn't too bad. Harris! 
Your help would be greatly appreciated. God dang it, Cloud. Why? Why always Cloud? Uh. Harris! Help! Oh no, it went off before Ultima. Because he's still charging it. Ah, I got. Oh no, never mind, I'm invincible. That's hard to dodge because it's. It's really slow. Oh my god. I did a lot of damage. I'm gonna do my barrier. Tonberry! No! Chocobo! Oh! Oh my god, I have 80 health. Oh my god, how did I survive? How am I alive? Stop blacking me. Okay. Uh, John Day is always the same day. 27th? Right? Going to Vegas, dude. Where's my Where's my invitation? I don't even know what I would do in Vegas. Show me the true power of soldier. Twenty-eight. I really like playing card games, so I'd probably just sit at the poker table all day. What the? We really modulated, like, now? Is now the time? Dude, there is some crazy stuff going on right now. Wow, that was the clutchiest Show me the true power clutch. of soldier. Mind your own business! Mind your own business. Get your flax out of here. What is Comet 2? Am I dead? I feel like I'm dead. I'm not dead. And I won. I actually did it. SP Turbo. Dude, that was the most terrifying attack. Like Comet, too. Okay, is this a uh, materia? Increases attack impact by expending SP. That's interesting. I mean, I have a lot of SP because I haven't used much of anything. I have 574,000 SP. But like how much how much SP does it cost? Is it going to is it going to wipe my SP? And I already do max damage a lot of the time, so I don't know if this is worth it right now, but when I can break damage limit it might be super worth it. I guess I'll just keep it for now. I think of it later.
I, I do not know how I don't have item fusion. <laughs> I have not ever gotten it. And I still don't need it, so... Challenge run. Alright. Uh, one more mission. We're kind of over schedule already, but... One more mission. In search of what? In search of love. I'm pretty sure someone told me it was in the story, yet I never got it. Maybe I was supposed to talk to, like, someone. Talk Activate to that annoying guy or something, and I didn't. Okay. I've been doing fine without it, so... I just had to better use what I have for my advantage. Ow. Crap. These stupid little plants are here. And that's a big problem because I took off my stun resist. They hit me out of trouble. Oh god! Wait, what? How did I die? It it looked like it healed me and then I died. Broski. Adamantite? Is that for fusion? Yeah. Activating combat mode. Hey, little eyeball dudes. Ah! Wait for me. Yeah, I thought either it's in the story or it's in like the first missions because I kind of skipped a lot of the first ones because they were too easy. And I didn't want to do all of them because there's a million. Lunar Harp! Your boy gonna get some Master Materia? What the heck? Oh, I already have. <laughs> I already have a bunch of them. What's up, Drop Down? Activating combat mode. Uh... mean to use a high potion. I do not mean to use the next potion. Get yourself together here. Oh yeah. Oh, that Activating combat mode. Out of the way. Yeah, I guess I guess I'm just doing a uh, no item fusion challenge, and then I'll come back and do the hard mode challenge and actually get 100% and get item fusion and everything else I'm missing. <laughs> yeah, the Lunar Harp is like this super rare item in Final Fantasy VII, but it's only because Zack stole all of them. Used them in fusion. That's the boss. Let's go this way. Activating the chest. Ew, water squirt. No oh, thanks. 
Man, all I can taste is that pizza from the... the oh, man, that was a cool stop. From these shapes. What's up, Maria? Hi! There is a way I could just mute the... the volume every time. Oh, that did 10,000 damage! Correct. That's what the Animanti Mai near Wutai does. Near the beaches of Wutai, you can find an enemy called Animanti Mai. It's a hole in my digital pocket. Is that where you keep your digi digital monsters? Activating combat mode. Digimon, digital monsters. Digimon are the champions. Yeah. Oh, God, why? Why do you do so much damage? Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. This better be something good. Mithril. That's just another thing like this, right? Yeah. Activating What's up, Bob Squeak? Good to see you, man. Modulating phase. Modulating Angeal's face. Level up. Prove your honor to me. I got it. Yeah, punch that grass. Want to die? Die. Oh, yeah. Conflict resolved. All right. Plant boss. Activating combat mode. Nah. That thing had an attack called anti-soldier gaze. I do not want to know what that does. I'm obviously weak against it because it's anti-soldier and I'm a soldier. Would not want to get hit by that. Oh yeah. Complete result. It's like I found your weakness, anti-soldier gaze. Alright. Activating combat mode. That's the wrong spell. Crap, I might be in trouble. <laughs> I wanted to use Flare right away before the plant stunned me, but I used Cure on accident, so now I'm in trouble. Alright, I think we're good. As long as that doesn't hit me! 
Christmas. That would have killed me. That tri fire does so much damage. Water Squirt might still one shot me. It did before, but I didn't have Wall Up. Honestly, these missions are a lot of fun to do when you're like one hit from death all the time. <laughs> Is this the end? You really gotta like be I'm careful. Trying. I'm trying. I'm glad that I tried these without just going back and getting more equipment slots and stuff. Granted, as Arrow said, I'm sure some of them would still like one shot me, but for the most part, I would be taking a lot less damage. Hammer punch. That sounds like Iron Fist. Enables attacks by expending AP. So it's just, it's just the same as Iron Fist. It gives 50% AP though, just for equipping it. Might have to try that. But for now, that's going to be the end of Crisis Core for today. We are getting close to the super boss. I don't know how much further we're going to get before we have to like go back and get stuff, but we're getting closer. Um, so yeah, I think I think the plan. I still don't know if we're going to do Chrono Trigger or Final Fantasy VII Challenge next, um, but whatever we pick, we'll pick it, you know, soon. So, um, but in terms of Crisis Core, the plan is to do um, finish this run and we'll just do um, anything that's exciting so we'll do like the super boss we'll do any other missions that sound interesting maybe do some mixing of materia just so we can see how crazy it gets and then we'll be done with crisis core and we'll move on to either uh, Chrono Trigger or Final Fantasy 7 challenge whatever and then someday we'll come back and we'll do Crisis Core again and we'll do a hard 100% playthrough. So I'll make sure to grab everything. We'll do everything there is to do in the game, all the missions, all that. And we'll do it in hard mode. Um, so that will happen someday and that, that should be cool. And that'll give us a chance to kind of step away from Crisis Core and then come back and experience it again. Um, so that is it for the playthrough right now, but we will come back next week and do more. Thank you, YouTube, for the support. Thanks for being here. Thanks for watching the Crisis Core Let's Play. I've really, really appreciated it. Everyone's really enjoyed this series. I'm glad you've liked it. And there will be more as we continue to go towards the Super Boss. We'll see you next week for more of this beautiful Let's Play. Peace out.